This is probability. Okay, let's look at the questions. Find the probability as a fraction of finding a province with the unemployment rate that is less than 30%. Now, if you look at the bar graph on the left, the unemployment rates are given even above the bar graph. We've got the unemployment rate given. So how many provinces here have an unemployment rate that is less than 30%? It would only be these two. This one and this one. So that's two provinces. Remember, we always put the probability as a fraction first. And we always put it over the total of all possibilities. So we've got a total of nine provinces. So two out of those provinces have an unemployment rate that is less than 30%. All right, and we were asked to write this as a fraction, so we can leave it the way it is. Let's move on to the next question. Find the probability. This time they want us to write it as a decimal, rounded off to two decimal places of finding provinces with the same unemployment rate. Now, if you look uh, at the bar graph again on the left, um, which provinces have the same unemployment rate? And it would be these two here, this one and this one. So those two provinces have the same unemployment rate. So again, Remember, we always write the probability as a fraction first. So we would say there are nine provinces, and two out of those nine provinces have the same unemployment rate. But we can't just leave it as a fraction this time. We have to write it as a decimal. So we go to our calculator to work this out. So it would be two out of the nine provinces equals two. Now, if you want to get the decimal, this is the button, S2D, that will give you the decimals. So it will be, and those decimals also must be rounded off to two decimal places. So uh, let's get back to the calculation, uh, calculator. So it will be 0, 0,22. Right, 0, 0,22. Let's move on to the next question. All right, find the probability to the nearest percentage. So we want the probability to the nearest percentage. So we must write it as a percentage of finding a province that is not uh, a coastal province. Remember, we have uh, coastal provinces and we also have inland provinces. There are four coastal provinces, which means those provinces Part of the province is by the sea, by the ocean, uh, Western Cape, Eastern Cape, KZN, and, and um, Northern, uh, is the Northern Cape. Those four are coastal provinces, which means you will find a sea or an ocean in those provinces. But the other five are not coastal provinces. So the other five are not coastal provinces. So we can say the probability will be of the nine provinces, remember we always put it uh, over the total of the pro uh, pro uh, possibilities. Five of those provinces are not coastal, they are inland. All right, uh, remember we always write the probability as a fraction first, like we've done here, but here they've asked us to write it uh, as a percentage to the nearest percentage. So we times by 100. Remember, nearest also means no decimal. So let's just calculate it. So you have to give a full number if they say to the nearest uh, percentage. So five out of the nine provinces are coastal. I mean, uh, not coastal, so they're inland. So if we are rounding off this to the nearest percentage, we shouldn't have decimals. We only want the, the whole number. So it should be 56. Remember, it's 55, but the number after the decimal is a 5. So uh, the nearest percentage would be 
56 percent let's move on to the next part okay population estimates are given in the table to the left find the probability is a decimal rounded off to three decimal places that a south african resident is from Gauteng. all right here when we actually have the numbers uh okay let me just uh, focus on this so if the person is a resident from Gauteng, that's the question so uh can we write this probability uh Gauteng is one uh out of the nine provinces uh, the truth is we cannot do this if we have the numbers. Remember, if we have the actual numbers, then we must use the actual numbers. So to answer this question again, find the probability as a decimal, rounded off to three decimal places, that a South African resident is from Gauteng. So Gauteng, the total there would be, remember again, when we do probability, we always put it over the total. And we've got the total of everyone in south africa so it will be 60 million four hundred and fifty five thousand and so we want the probability that this person is a resident from Gauteng, and in Gauteng, the population is 15 million eight hundred and eighty two two hundred and ninety six and we must round it off to three decimals so we must write it as a decimal okay so let's first uh, go to the calculator Okay, so three decimal places, but uh, the third decimal is two, but there's a seven that uh, as a, that comes after the two. So we'll round this up to 0, 0.263, because the seven will round this two up, the third decimal will be rounded up to three. So it will be 0, 0.263. Next question, find the probability as a percentage so we're going to have to times by 100 here rounded off to one decimal place that a south african resident is not from kzn so we know that uh, there are nine provinces so eight out of those nine provinces are not kzn so eight out of nine are not from kzn and if we didn't have the numbers the actual numbers we could write it like this but since we have the numbers we have to use the numbers Okay, so what we can do is we can take the total, take the total, and minus KZN, so that we find the ones that are not KZN. So we minus KZN, and KZN is 11 million. Okay, so let's calculate this quickly. Okay, so if we subtract the KZN people, we are left with 4 million. Okay. Actually, 48,892,349 people are not from KZN. Out of a total of 60 uh, million. And we have to write this as a percentage first. So we're going to times by 100. And the answer that we get must be rounded off to one decimal place. Okay, let's, let's first times by 100. Okay, so this is the percentage. And the one decimal is the 8. But there's a 7 after the 8, which means the one decimal, the 8 is going to become a 9. So as a percentage, it would be 80,9%. And moving on to the last part.